Hey, so we've created loads of components for the one page website, but we're missing something that should be at the bottom, which roots everything down. It's the footer. I'm not a massive fan of footers. I hate them. We need to start a campaign to make footers brilliant and amazing. But you know what? I blooming hate them. Hey, we've got to get them done right. Let's go in and create one. I'm in bricks at the moment on this website. I'm in template and I'm now going to create a new one. Let's just hit add new. I'm going to call this footer. And obviously this is going to be a template. So on the right hand side, make sure you go and pick footer. Don't worry if you forget to do this. You can always come back to do it at any point in time. That is now done. I'm just going to hit publish for now. So we know it's definitely done. And then we hit edit with bricks. So now we're going to have a think about our layer and what we want to go for. Um, I'm trying to stay excited about this because I'm never, I always go, oh God, we're going to get on with the footer now. But you know, you could either go in and pick a custom layout or you could do what I always do is just start from scratch. We're going to have a section and we're going to have a container. Now you don't have to have the container. Okay. I know in all the previous videos, I've got section container and then I add my items. That's because I am going to be doing something with them in a later video. So don't worry about that. But we have section container. Well, we might as well just go in and give it some. We might as well make it visible on the screen for starters. So let's go over to style. Let's go to background. And I'm going to give this the dark black color like that. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to give it some padding. And I'm going to go with 40 at the top and 40 at the bottom there. Um, it's going to be full width automatically, except for the container that we will come back onto into a moment. Um, that's all I'm going to do for the section at the moment, to be honest. I'm not going to do anything else with it. We're going to go to the container now. Uh, the style for this, well, all of my elements at the moment or my containers on the one page website were within a 1000 pixel width. I'm just going to maintain that and go for 1000 there as well. Uh, so that's all good there. Um, I don't need to do full width stretch in a way because if I just preview this at the moment, it's black at the background. So unless I give my container a different background color, I don't need to stretch it. It's totally fine like that. Now what you've got to think about is what are you going to add into here? You might add in a copy of your logo, for instance. You might add in a privacy policy, terms and conditions, cookie policy, a nav map, anything like that. I'm going to keep this really, really simple, okay, because you can go in and start to add in whatever you want. What I'm going to do, though, is for the rich text like that, um, click on the rich text, go to content, and basically here's now where you could start to pop in your items. I've just popped in some items. I'm going to centralize them. Now, the reason why I'm using the rich text is I could quite easily just go over here now, click a link, and I could now link it. Just go in here over here and just set this to be a footer style, no, footer text, right? Let's just set that. Now let's ensure that the color for this is definitely white. And we might as well do the typography as well. And I'm going to go with 1.4 REM. No, 1.4 is no, 1.4 REM, no, 1.5. Let's just go over to our container and make sure the contents of this are in the center, which is what I've done with the align cross axes. Okay, so everything is nicely centered. So what we got there is our item there. I am now really simply just going to duplicate that, go over to my rich, in fact, I'm just looking at the height of all of that. We'll come back and address how close they are in a moment. I'm now going to get rid of all of these items over here. And I'm now just going to click select dynamic data. And I'm going to go in and pick date. Because what I'm now going to do is actually add in um, the copyright date, 2022. But I want to do it dynamically so that it changes every year. So if I now go to current date, that is what we currently get. So if I now preview this and excuse the fact that it's gone right to the top because it's just showing the footer without any content. Can you see here it says October 20, 2022. This is the time when I recorded the video, but I don't want to see that. I just want to see the year. Well, that is really easy to sort out. Let's just go back over here. OK, to where we have current date. After the word date, I'm going to put colon and put a capital Y. OK, pretty simple. That's all you got to do. I just have the year. And you're probably wondering, well, why would you stick it in rich text? Though? You could have used any other field. Look, here's why. I'm going to put a statement like that. Copyright with this field here, with the year and all rights reserved. And I now save that and we now view it over here. Look at that. That is now going to change automatically every year. Come back on January the 1st and it will now say 2023 or however long this channel is going on for. 
that's how simple it was. I'm now just going to duplicate this rich text again. I'm going to move it over below over here. Um, and this time I'm going to change this to just be uh, designed by... One of the problems we do have with this though is that it is very jumbled up and very close together. The simple way to do that is you could just go to your container, go to your style. You could give it a particular height and then go with like space between or something like that. Or you could just go to the one in the middle, go to your layout over here and say, okay, uh, we're going to give you about 20, maybe. Nah, 10, 20 is too much. We'll go with 10 there and uh, 10 below as well. Let's just preview and save that. And that's looking kind of okay. Now, again, you know, like I don't go crazy over footers. Look, you could do a lot more to this, okay? You could add in a copy of your nav menu. You could add in your logo again. Uh, I mean, I would probably say it's not a bad idea to add your logo in again, but because we have a sticky header and it's kind of always kind of be visible there, it's not a huge big deal, you know, deal breaker, but you could add in additional columns. You could have four columns, you could have, you could split it up, you could add divider lines in, there's lots of things you can do here. I'm just keeping it really, really simple. Don't just save and walk away. Remember, you've got to go over to the cog, the settings over there and go to template settings, right? And you're now going to set in your conditions. Well, this one is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to be on the entire website, okay? Or maybe it's a particular page or a particular post. Uh, and we're not excluding it because that's, we want it to be visible. Let's now save that. I mean, that's how simple and easy it is, okay? But there we go. We've now added in our footer to our page. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. And I hope that dynamic data thing for the year helps you out. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, dish hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing.